Welcome to the show, everyone. It's the Crypto Lark broadcasting to you from New Zealand, and today we're going to talk about the Cambria ICO. What is Cambria trying to do? They are a decentralized open innovation platform aiming to accelerate the advancement of AI and robotics. Cool. We're going to be breaking down just what Cambria is trying to do after a massive thank you to you guys for being part of the cryptocurrency community. Your support of the channel and of the cryptocurrency movement makes all the difference. So thank you for being a part of this. Furthermore, you do have to remember, this is not financial advice, guys. These are just the opinions of one dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. This is an ICO. Do your own due diligence. There is no substitute for doing your own research, and there is always a certain amount of inherent risk involved in investing in any ICO. Unfortunately, Americans are excluded from this sale. Sorry, guys. Furthermore, the team at Cambria has reached out to me to do a sponsored review of their project. However, I have, of course, deserved the right to keep it open and honest, as always. So let's get into it. In order to understand what makes Cambria interesting, of course, we have to understand the problems it is trying to solve. The robotics industry is a largely siloed industry. That means there are different organizations developing tech by themselves and not really sharing the results out. Sometimes I really feel like we are developing all of these tools for the new economy, but we're still stuck with this infrastructure and the economic models of the previous economy. Many developers also lack the tools and the interfaces needed to easily make their own tech. Not to mention, of course, that there are massive startup costs, which make it very prohibitive for small teams or young entrepreneurs to get involved in the robotics industry. There's also a massive amount of wasted effort via duplicate effort. Robotics as an industry is currently focused on primarily industry, but there is a gargantuan untapped potential outside of industry for robotics and everyday household uses, for example, or in medicine, and on and on go the potential use cases for it. Many of those robots, which you may have seen in cool videos on Twitter or uh, Facebook, for example, are also incredibly cost prohibitive. Many of those cost millions of dollars to make. And while they serve as great concept pieces, they're not very useful for retail buyers. Cambria wants to shake all that up. Before we get into the solution, I want to take a moment to highlight the company behind Cambria. Omni Labs. Omni Labs makes robots with like 3D printers and stuff. And the current robot that they have, the Omni, is an interactive, easy to use, successful, cost effective, and innovative robot. But that is not our topic of today, although it does really speak to the experience of the team. Now, the guys from Cambria really are trying to draw on inspiration from widely popular open source operating systems like Linux and Android. And with that kind of philosophy, they're trying to make Cambria into an open robotics repository comprising of high level behavior libraries, modular hardware components. Their goal is to create an ecosystem where contributions can be shared, manufactured, and implemented. The Cambria platform will first and foremost be providing a marketplace where businesses and developers and the community can all connect together. They want to tap into a worldwide network of developers and roboticists. For example, a company needing a solution can go and look for providers by issuing out a bounty in the KAT or the CAT token. They can also help drive competitions and innovations like the DARPA challenge event but on the marketplace. On the reverse side, you can actually have researchers proposing work and get funding for developing it, like Kickstarter, 
but for robot and AI technologies. You can also earn tokens by contributing and of course save time and money via collaborations with others. They'll also be offering a code base. This is the KDNA, modular, reusable, trying to cross all boundaries of robot building. Everything from the hardware, the firmware, the software, right down to the mechanical and the electrical, right across the board. There'll also be assistance with legal protections, penalties for those within the ecosystem who abuse the system, and legal actions against those who try to free ride on the tech. There will also be value capture incentives for the product life cycle, as well as things like manufacturing. Let's take a dive into the token. Now, a quick note before we do begin, there will be possibilities to make onboarding new customers easy via fiat. However, there is a rich use case here for the token as well. So all interactions on the platform are facilitated via the Cambria token or the CAT as we mentioned before. Companies can of course use these to issue out the bounty challenges, which are then awarded when those projects are filled, locked up in a smart contract, of course. Individual teams are rewarded with tokens for designs or for code that they contribute to the open source ecosystem. Manufacturers can earn tokens through the production of robots and robotic parts, which is pretty awesome. Community members can use tokens to promote specific projects and of course, fundraise for the legal protection of shared technology. For example, the Cambria Foundation will also be negotiating and managing a perks program for token holders, which will give you things like discounted access to maker spaces, co-working spaces, or parts, tools, and supplies, which is a real incentive because it would help lower business costs for anyone looking to make a few robots. To participate in this program, you only need to hold a minimum of one cat in a wallet. However, there will be subsequent tiers which will provide additional perks and additional discounts. The value capture system that we mentioned before, this will be essentially the community deciding on a percentage of a fair use fee. We can give the example of 5% here. 5% fee would be collected at the time manufacturing for that technology, 5% at the time of sale, and 5% of any of the labor performed. So you can see that there will actually be these returns coming back to the community for the technology, the open source technology that they provide. Changes to these fees can of course be proposed and voted on by the community. All fees are paid out in CAT tokens. Of the collected fees, 50% are burned, 50% are given to holders of karma tokens, which we'll break down momentarily, and 10% goes back into a community fund. There'll be two additional incentives within the ecosystem. We're gonna have maker credits. These are basically like reward points that you can spend later on. And we're also gonna have the Cambria Karma. Now the Karma is used to track actual work performed and is used as an incentive to promote useful work and is awarded for concrete contributions. Remember, if you're a Karma holder, you get 40% of the fees collected. Worth noting that the maker credits and the Karma credits are not ERC-20 tokens. They are a non-tradable ledger. All right, let's check the team out. We have Thuk Jared and Ting Ji. These are also the same guys behind Omni Labs, so they already have real-world experience of building robots, experience in the robotics and the AI industry, and of course, of building an actual business. Ting Ji bringing in the blockchain experience. On the leadership team, a lot of great experience yet again. We have Dana here, for example, and she's done girlsintech.org, going around the USA, trying to spread the good message of technology to young women developers, which is really cool. It would be nice, though, to see a few more uh, front-end faced developers here on the team, someone to build out the marketplace, and a few more blockchain people, for example, would not be a bad addition here. On the advisory board, we have Loi Lu from Kyber Network, Roger Lim from Neo Global Capital, Simon Sujun Kim from Hashed, a lot of great names here. The partner list as well, Stanford University, Carnegie Mellon, 
a lot of great names on here, and that's just the start. We also have, aside from Hashed, we also have Dragon Capital and Access Ventures, as well as quite a few other notable in investors who have really seen a lot of potential in what the guys are doing here. And in addition to the big universities, we also have the Manufacturing Alliance. So they're trying to build this out, and there's already strong interest from manufacturers in Taiwan and Japan. Before I break down the details of the token sale, I did want to highlight a few of my concerns about Cambria. The roadmap is where we start. They currently have an MVP, which is awesome, but we also don't have any code over on GitHub yet, which is not as awesome. We also don't have any plans past quarter one of 2019. What's the go-to-market strategy? How are they going to bring this to businesses? What partnerships do they want to get? What geographic regions are they going to focus on? We don't have any of that here in the roadmap. The idea is super cool, but is the blockchain ecosystem ready for this? We've had other projects like SyncFab, for example, which also had some great partnerships, but didn't do uh, so well value-wise post-ICO. Skynet, Terminator. Isn't this just going to bring down the robot overlords onto us? Take me, robot overlords! I'm ready! Rapture me! Now, I don't think this is going to happen, and I know there's a lot of people who get worried about AI technology and robotics, and they think that new technology is scary. Well, I don't really see that. New technology is new technology. Depends on what we do with it as humans later on. The KAT tokens, when they are locked up in the bounty smart contracts, will of course be susceptible to market price fluctuation. So if you put up $1 million of KAT tokens, well, next week that could be worth $700,000, and that bounty no longer looks as exciting. There is a bit of discussion in the Cambria team about actually having a fiat gateway for this, which will be held by the foundation. So you put up your million dollars, you buy a million dollars worth of tokens, and that fiat is held by the foundation, the tokens are what actually get staked up so that whoever actually ends up winning can still maintain their value. The social media presence of Cambria at this point is still rather small, which is kind of surprising for uh, such an exciting and compelling project, which is really trying to build out the future of technology. And so they do need to do a bit of work on really building out a strong community moving forward. Okay, the details of the token sale, or all the details that we have at the moment. The hard cap's going to be $19.9 million. 50% of all of the tokens are going to be going to the public. A total supply of 5 billion tokens. The remaining tokens are going to have 20% going to the team, 20% going to a community fund, and 10% going to Omni Labs. Any unsold tokens will be distributed to the community fund afterwards. We don't have a price yet on tokens or any definitive dates. There are rumors of an upcoming airdrop, but that is also not definitive at this time. So stay tuned for more details regarding the specifics of the token sale. I would suggest that you go over and join their Telegram group or follow them on Twitter to stay up to date with the latest on the sale. I like Cambria. I think it's such a cool idea. Projects like Cambria are going to really help pave the way towards a future that is just full of innovative and useful technology. Robotics are going to be massive, but like so many industries, it needs to be disrupted. We have to bring the price down. We have to make it more collaborative and easier for people to get involved. That barrier to entry has to be removed. And Cambria is trying to do that. They want to offer a practical and cost-effective format for people to get on board with robotics. Omni Labs already has an impressive partner list, and the hackathons, actually at all these partner universities, could be a big driver for business and innovation within the platform. It also allows for the focus on innovation by the innovators while trying to increase speed and lower barriers, not having to continually reinvent the wheel because there will be a more open and collaborative 
space. Thanks so much for watching the video. If this project resonates with you, help grow the community by sharing this video across social media. Leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about Cambria in the comment section down below. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.